So Baba Vanga says the beginning of the end of the world starts in 2025. And she says a lot of other things, so I thought, let's look into it. Baba Vanga, which I've seen the name from time to time. I don't even know if I'm saying her name right. Anyhow, so she was a blind mystic. And she says the end of the world will start in 2025. And uh, she was known as... I can't even pronounce that name. She was a blind Bulgarian clairvoyant, widely known for her alleged powers of precognition. Okay, so she's like the Nostradamus of the Balkans. Whatever. Okay. She uh, passed in 96, but she has followers who are still awaiting her predictions. Okay. Let's look into it. So she has 2025, a conflict in Europe will devastate the continent's population. She has 2028, humans will begin to explore Venus as an energy source. 2033, the polar ice caps will melt, raising sea levels to drastic heights worldwide. 2076, communism will spread to countries across the world. <laughs> We're already there. Okay. Hey, 2130, humans will make alien contact. 2170, a drought will devastate much of the world. 3005, Earth will go to war with a civilization on Mars. 3797, humans will have to vacate Earth because it's become inhabitable. And 5079, the world will end. 5079? Well, what are we talking about 2025 for? That's a while. I'm not going to be around for that. I don't. Maybe I'll reincarnate and I'll come back. I hope not. Stop it. No. Mm -mm. Okay. 2025. Let's check out that first one. Of course, it's all alleged for entertainment purposes only. Not facts, psychic downloads, snarky opinions. And if you're not into that and you like really boring readings, go somewhere else. Okay, so 2025, a conflict in Europe will devastate the continent's population. And if you haven't yet joined me in the Moon Moth Manor or join the membership here on Tube, that you find out the details, details below this video. Not the deedles. Deedles is a cute word for detail, so. All right, Europe. Conflict in Europe will devastate the continent's population. Oh, I'm recording this July 9th, in case you care. Okay, there's some, some truth to this. Something's happening here. Oh, it's not natural, though. <laughs> not natural. We will rebuild. That's what I'm getting from this. All right, so as for 2025, a conflict in Europe will devastate the continent's population. Which continent? Is that UK continent? I don't know. It says devastate the continent's population. I don't know. I'm getting this off of uh, page six, I think. So I don't know where they got it. I'm not going to go that deep with it. We're just going on the general thing of this. Yes, something's going to happen. And... It is not, it's man-made, whatever this is. Um, and so people are going to have to fight back and rebuild. We will rebuild and all this stuff. There's um, getting back to work and putting things back right. And then there's, uh, but there's a lot of options of how, how to move forward and building the stuff, repairing the stuff. Okay. Oh. This might be something, though. Okay, so this might be something that over there, this conflict in Europe, where there's it's a man-made conflict that like devastates the continent's population. The people are starting to rebuild. Whoever's left over there needs to keep an eye on these people because they are wanting to rebuild. But there's a plan in place to rebuild with you know sneaky snacker energy, which would be shady shit. So mm, yeah, I would be careful of that. Be careful of who comes over there and says, I got a hammer and nails. Let's rebuild this joint. And then you find out that they're actually a reptilian or, I don't know, a demon, some shit. Just say. Okay. But that's also, like I said, I was getting man-made. That things could change. Somebody could come around and stop the plan. Okay. 2028, humans are going to begin to explore Venus as an energy source. Count me out on that trip. Sorry. Uh, somebody else, I'm sure William Shatner will be on the trip. Humans will begin to explore Venus as an energy source. I bet they're already doing that. Come on now, let's not be dumb. Let's see. Oh, nakedy people all up in my business. 
I'm not in your business. Okay. <clears throat> they're already doing that. They're just going to say they're doing it then. That's okay. That's the reveal time. They're not going to even say like how long they've been doing this stuff. This is present, you know, like, yeah, we're already in partnership. We're already up there with the Vene Venusians. I don't know what they'd be called. Anyhow, we're already hanging out. We're already partnering with them. We're already doing exploration and checking the stuff out. Already doing it. Then we're going to let you fools know on Earth. <laughs> We've been up there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we, we couldn't tell you, though. We couldn't tell you. <laughs> no, couldn't tell you. Shh. All right. Next. 2033. Polar ice caps will melt, raising sea levels to drastic heights worldwide. Oh, is this Al Gore's wet dream coming to the realities? Let's see. Polar ice caps are going to melt, raising sea levels. To drastic heights worldwide, 2033. What can we know? <laughs> oh, you eyes wide shut SOBs. Okay, no. My opinion, no. This is more of the continuation of that whole stupid storyline we've been fed for, I don't know, since the 60s, the 70s. Uh, I don't know. It's that same continuation of that same damn storyline. It is not, no. This is about powers that be, eyes wide shut, demons in the political and mega powers, societies, whatever, trying to control so they're just looking like hey man people have been buying this stuff for a whole lot of years decades in fact let's keep it going okay that's all this is we're gonna just keep working on telling them the same bunch of bullshit so these people will be scared and they'll just like help save us government all right eh. all right next 2076 communism will spread to countries across the world I think we're already there, but just saying. 2076, communism will spread across the world. We are the commies. We're all over the world. Oh, oh. put your tatas away, lady. Can't be having that. I don't think so. I don't know. This seems like some of these timelines or something's shifted wrong. I don't know. Oops, I'm a little cockeyed here. Feels like this is a little shifted wrong or something. Like, it's on its way out in terms of being a popular thing for all the kids to jump on board with. Um, yeah, I don't see that. No. I don't see that. It's, uh, it's like already on its way out. So I, that's why I'm saying, I don't know, the timeline seemed kind of weird, like some of this shit. Uh, 2130, humans will make alien contact. I think we already have. Humans will make alien contact. Will they or have they? A bunch of gossip and innuendo. Page of Pentacles. Already been doing that. Already been studying. Already been trying to figure out, like, hey, how do we communicate? Oh, we're supposed to take some sensitivity training so we uh, can talk to you in a proper way without offending you. Oh, that's great. We're trying to figure out how to come together. You speak our language. We speak your language. But we're gonna do it with a meeting of our minds. Yeah. No, this is more. 
if anything, 2130, where it says humans make alien contact, this could be about an alien battle, an alien fight, where humans and aliens are not getting along and we're um, on the brink of some type of, I don't know, alien men in black type war or what Independence Day, whatever those movies were back in the day. That there, this is alien contact wouldn't be in terms of a big old fight that's dangerous. That's what this would be. They're already talking. They're already having communications. And what I've gotten, remember in those past readings that the aliens want to come out and want to make themselves known, like that was a, a thing that was already agreed upon. And then the humans are like, no, nah, not yet, please. We're over here still trying to overtake the world. And the aliens are like, well, we want to come over there and say hi and, you know, communicate and talk from our position. We don't need you to translate. And so that was brewing. This is like gets out in the open. Hopefully, whatever that drama-rama is going on with the aliens gets solved. I'm not really looking forward to seeing aliens. Mm -mm, no. I have enough problems with the humans that I see at the grocery store and out in the world driving. <sighs> I can't with alien fighting. Just too much. 3,005. Whew. Pretty sure I won't be here for that. Earth will go to war with a civilization on Mars. Although this video might still be on the tube of the U in 3005. Wouldn't that be amazing? Ah! Okay. 3005. Earth will go to war with a civilization on Mars. Um... Because they've already been there. There's like a, okay. This would be a breakdown in relationships. I don't know that it gets to war though. I'm not seeing that it gets to war. I see that there has to be repair work. It's almost kind of like, well, that's your area over there. Keep over there, fellers. This is our alien area over here. This is our shit. Mm. Keep to it. It doesn't, no, I'm not getting that. Earth will go to war with a civilization. It's more like a territorial pissings. Like, keep, ah, you're over there. And there's, like, negotiations that need to be met about, like, you work there, I work here. Um, I do think, though, that that could be used for uh, fake news. I'll add that in there. There's some fake news in there. But this feels like, eh. 3797. Humans will have to vacate the earth because it's become uninhabitable. 3797. You plan on being around? I don't. But maybe in the future someone's watching this video and they're like, oh, it's a famous psychic Alicia Wicker. She's a snarky bitch, but let's see what she has to say because it's 3796 and I'm wondering. Okay, 3797. Humans are going to have to vacate the earth. Because it's become an uninhabitable, a total ghetto trash dump. Oh, people. Oh, gosh. Mm, trying to get all your bits and pieces there. Mm -mm -mm. Let's bring out Mildred Payne for some extra fries with that because, oh, don't start with me, Mildred. Too early in the morning. This is saying there has already been a thing where aliens and humans like are traveling together, exploring the cosmos, out in the universe, already happening, okay? Ink, we're already doing that. There's already this stuff. Now, it does show, like, hey, the aliens are like, yo, humans, come with us. Okay. But then we got a high priestess, king of pentacles, and the four of pentacles. It's almost like, why? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting because it's trashy down here. Like, the water's all contaminated. or something. I don't get that. It's almost like, hey, come on, humans, come with us. And they're like, why? And it's like, we got something secret we want to show you 
And it's like, okay, well, we'll go for a visit, but we want to hold on Earth. Like, that's our place. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, this is our place. This is our permanent home. Let me use this to cover up these nakedy people. This is our permanent home. So we don't want to, we don't want to leave. Maybe it's a temporary leaving. Like we got to clean up or there's something yet we have to get rid of. I don't know why it's uninhabitable though. Cause it's not like dirty water or something. I'm not, I mean, like here's water. I'm almost feeling like we have to 3797 humans, they will have to leave because, but there's like a scourge under the water. I don't know if there's like evil aliens that are living in the uh, oceans that have been doing some nefarious things. I don't know, spawning without a permit. I don't know. Um, oh, we got, well, we got three for one on that one. The sun, stick, skull. Oh, okay. Aliens in the oceans, <laughs> taking humans off the land, <laughs> bringing them down into the ocean and doing things with them, like feeding on them, that kind of stuff. I know in 2024, this sounds nuts. I'm sure in 3797, it'll be like, hmm, we've been hearing about that. Oh. See, there's a delay here. Like the humans don't want to leave. This is our home. We don't want to leave it. There's kind of like, I know we got to clean this place up with these shitheads that are down there in the ocean feeding on our people. Oh, and then they have to like, it comes to a head. We don't want to leave our place. And so somehow we got to take care of this with the aliens. Uh, make a deal to get them out of the oceans. All righty. What's our last one? Oh, 5079. The world will end. Okay, let's see what's happening then. 5079, the world will end. It says Banga isn't the only one to acclaim preemptively to know when the world would end. Some claim the Mayan tribe predicted the world would end in 2012 because their calendar cut off. December 21, 2012. Um, 5079, world will end. It's the end of the world as we know it in 5079. Let's get fries with that because that's kind of an interesting spread. This is not end of the world. It's interesting. It's the end of something. It ain't the end of the world. Which seems like a really long time to have to wait for that. But this is the, um, there's a, Exit stage left of um, powerful people doing shitty ass things to other people. That's what this is. It's the end of the world. What well, we could say it's the end of the world as we know it at that point. God only knows. But in 5079, it would be an, it's like a total brrr, powerful entities would be shown the exit stage left or to come down off of power. Um, say goodbye to your uh, seat of power busy um this is almost like i don't know what's happened that they've gotten to this point but it's almost like repeat of what we're doing now right these powerful people working really hard behind the scenes uh, showing one thing being the other getting all the people here 5079 this is like no you're done we've had enough get a rope get them out of here we this is what is causing the terrible things within our world yeah it's like for the future of the children we need to work on setting things right here so this would be the the people rising up to realize there's current it's like almost like exercising demons from the planet that's how this gets yeah it's like exercising the demons from the planet um, and saying this has been a permanent growing problem that we've had within 
this earth and it's almost like you think you're getting rid of it and then it comes right back up it's a persistent um thing it's kind of like a I don't know if you have it where you live here uh like one of the things we have is running bamboo not that it's running but it's like you stick one piece you put some bamboo in you're like oh that looks cute there and then by the next year it's all over hell and creation if you don't like put it in a container that thing that's what this is like you you say okay it's okay if you're over here and then brrr, it runs rampant okay so this is about everyone's just acknowledging what's on the table at this point there's no like dicking around and oh we care about people's feelings <laughs> i know you're an evil genius but i don't want to say evil it hurts your feelings oh the pc thing's done this is okay so that's what this is it's not it's the world the world will end in terms of like demon exorcism like like enough is enough is enough okay well there we go we've gone through some of baba vanga's predictions so i'm not really too worried but if you're a future human watching you you better see what's going on you might need to know what's going on here so take care of yourself future humans but if you're human here in 2024 join me in the moon moth manor become a member of the youtube channel until next time stay safe adios